another thing in mommy's machine drawer. Pretty cool, right? That just says it looks like mushrooms. So we're doing the pockets for the organizer. So I found out that sewing is a lot like cooking. You have to have a recipe for it. You have to have ingredients, which is how many pieces like this and so on and so on. Then you have to have a method how you do it. Right, Joe? Baguettes. One for me and one for me as mom. We gotta trade bread for oranges. Let me tell you something. Mom would give me them oranges no matter what. But I like the barter system. Hey Joe. Here's one there, baby. Okay, you see? Little half the long part. Joe sews, but I tell him what to sew. Pretty soon he catches on anyways. And then we correct each other because we don't want mistakes. I'd rather Joe stop me and say, is this right? You know what I mean, Joe? when this is attached when this gets attached to the body of this one as a pocket the label shows up on the inside so that's how we had to do the label just now so all I'm going to do now is iron these pieces and then I have to make a line on these pieces and you'll see why later alright guys my, my head is kind of cut off right now but I'm just trying to show you something really quickly. So I had to draw a line one inch from the top on each of the hard pieces because later on when we're sewing the top, we're gonna bend it and you can bend it to that line and you, you have a more even top. So I learned something new. So this is the pocket that I've attached. So you already sewed it shut, right? I attached it. So Joe just gonna uh, talk. Joe is just gonna sew the bottom here. I found out I don't like these, what do you call this, like a plaid pattern with the lines because sometimes where you bend it to make it even is not where the lines are. And that's like an eyesore to me. So this is the last of this fabric anyways. So Joe's just going to sew all the bottoms while I go back and finish my baguette. That's why I have my hair tighter. I have a video at the site with this, you know. Most of these things I show you guys here at the vlog, I already have a video. Somebody's watching, let me get that door. And I'm gonna start getting other colors for the, um, <clears throat> the organizers. You know, darker colors, browns and blacks and darker greens and Stuff like that because maybe not everybody likes these lighter spring colors. I want to get one Joe where it has some kind of peach in the fabric in the outside fabric. And then I have a like a plain peach on the inside. I don't know why I'm seeing peach. So babe, you did something wrong? You're sewing the right top, right? If you want to know if you're sewing the right spot, check the top of the back and you see the blue line. The blue line's the top, so don't sew the top. Boo, are you doing it right? Mm -hmm. Let me see, I don't think you're doing that one right. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. Okay, you right. I was wrong, you is right. Are you not trusting me or something? Look, I don't want to rip. This has nothing to do with trust, this has to do with, I don't want to rip. I think you don't trust me. Don't okay, baby, I don't trust you. <laughs> Though it's kind of sticky. I would say this bread can be vegan because it uses no butter, no oil, no grease. It's just water, flour, yeast, and some sugar and some salt. 
really good bread. People like to make this line after it's already risen. I've tried that several times and I bust it. so long I can't even fit them on the pan so I'll just let these sit here to rise because Joe started to cook the chicken but his chicken will have to come out of there for me to bake these you know so I don't have to bake those for too high for your chicken you know what I mean yeah? kind of shuts you the gun out push it in the bottom right? push what the chicken mm -hmm. Are you going to try to sew a, sew a straight line this time without me trying to put those dots? Mm -hmm. I want to find the center so we can put the pockets. Put a dot. So Joe has to sew here and sew there. I think we'll do it then. I think you can do it. You can do anything. I'm a Cortez. Hmm? I'm a Cortez. You're a Cortez. What's so great about being a Cortez? <laughs> That's from Spy Kids, in case you guys don't get what I be talking about. Okay, so for this one, see the dot there is that's the center. You want a little bit off to the center, a little bit off to, to try to sew two straight lines. Good luck. I know you can do it. You don't need luck. Okay? You don't have to go to chicken? Yeah, you can't fit because the pan with water at the bottom for spray pan of bread. Mm. All right, so this is the insert that goes inside this outer part. So what I have to do now is cut off this tail ending that Joe did here. We're learning, huh, Joe? We yeah. are learning. And then we have to um, invert the outer part of the bag. See what I was telling you, Jojo? Something about the pockets. See how you sit there? So then they will probably a seat in the pocket, right? This one is good for the outside part. So she said how they are for lineup without this showing. Because mm -hmm. sometimes this like the liner. Mm -hmm. The lady that I watched. Right? Are you hear me? The liner? Yeah. The liner when you drop it in, it's supposed to line up even with the outside. But sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll just show like this. Uh, this is the third one I've made, and I've never had it line up. So I think she lied on that. But I like it peeking. I like it peeking out a little bit. I mean, you could fold it in if you want to, but why? Well, you can't show. Huh? I want to show just. I know, but I'll fix that one. But I'm saying I want oh. that to peek. I want that to peek out. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah. This little messenger bag is so difficult to sew, you guys. It's it's easy to put the whole thing together until you get to this flap. When you start to sew on this flap, that's where all the problems come in. And um, I don't know. This one, like I said, when I went over to Osley's, Osley's home, the nurses were like, oh cute, but they didn't seem to want to buy this one. So this one I might retire sooner than later because it's so hard to put this flap on. When you're trying to sew, you're sewing blind. You don't know that it's all, it's not lined up on the other side too. No matter what I try, I pin, I sew, I base. <sighs> right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Joe's over there like all stressed out doing a Caribbean one right now. And the buttons, let me tell you, the buttons are not easy to put on either because the buttons go on both sides. So this side would have the purple. 
this side no this side has the purple this side has the green and you kind of have to sew back and forth between the two sides and miss barbara sews too tight so the button is like stuck onto the bag and then you can't button the bag shut so even buttoning the bag is a process or sewing on the button so i want to go to the gym i've not been to the gym in a few days here you go my pen hold on guys let me tell you what all happened today. Joe got up earlier than I did. I went to bed kind of late last night though. In my defense, I went to bed kind of late last night. Put a little dot there. So Joe got up earlier than I did and we were gonna start sewing, but then I remembered that we promised Kevin that we would um, take him over the Sergio. Joe, what color for sew this with? Green? Green? Okay, I gotta get green. So we would take him over to Sergio to fix his car because we already tested it with a little computer thing and told him what was wrong. But he went to some mechanics in town and they told him that it's a $45 fee to just test it to see what's wrong, which we already tested it. We already know what's wrong. And they said, oh, we still have to test it ourselves. And that $45 will go towards the repair if you let us repair the car. But if you don't let us repair the car, your $45 is dead. We already did that part for free, right? So then they told him that the part alone is $200. And they didn't even get into what the labor would be because Kevin already factored that part of the labor is going to be $45. So the labor is not going to be $45 because they're not going to want to um, just let it be the cost of the test. So it's going to be $45 plus. So he's imagining it would have been a good $400. That's what you pay when you go on Main Street, you know, Marie and Albert on the Alberts out here. That's what you pay. You know, so... Joe took him to Sergio and the whole bill came to what, Joe? 175 And so they waited for the car to be fixed and then Kevin took uh, Joe to brunch. I'm like, look at Joe living life large and in charge, going to norms. When I've been saving my... <laughs> He's laughing. I've been saving my... Jory gave me $40 at the start of the new year to go to norms and he goes, Mommy, you didn't go to norms for your anniversary. Go to norms. I used the money to pay the car insurance. I will. I put, had to put it together because the car insurance is like two oh nine right now because Joshua doesn't have a car. So, anyways, I was like, "Look at them! Look at them just living life large and in charge." Mm -hmm. Jada was so mad. I'm like, "You can't even get mad every time you and Colin go to one of your little music camp things. On the way back, you stop at Norms. What do what? Where do Joe and I stop? We stop at Costco." And we eat us sometimes we share a slice of pizza <laughs> <We eat it. laughs> I'm like that sucks so then Joel came home what happened when you came oh the whole morning when Joel was gone you want to know what I did I changed the pictures at the website the pictures of the products because these products are reversible so originally I was putting up like this picture and then I would reverse the bag and take more pictures of the reverse side and that would go in the gallery part of the thingy. So this would be the thumbnail, you know, for the item. And then that would be the gallery. So I had Jada go to the website, like if she was not family or friend, that she was a stranger trying to shop at my store. And she said, you know, everywhere I say that the bag's reversible, but she doesn't know where the other reverse side is because it's in the gallery and she couldn't find it. So she says, mommy, you're going to have to put picture of the bag side by side this way and the other way. And just like what I do with the aprons and put it up that way. So I went and I, there's no way for me to put the pictures together. I don't have anything on the computer to use. I'm going to have to ask Joshua to find me something that I can use for free, like an editing thing. And um, so I had to send the pictures from my desktop on my Mac computer to my email, my Yahoo email. So then I would open the email on my phone, get the picture, download the picture onto my phone. Then I would put the picture in Photo Grid, which is an app that I use to put pictures up at Instagram, save it. Then I would send it back in an email where I can open it on the desktop. Are you guys tired already? Are you guys tired of hearing this bull crap? <laughs> so that's what I had to do to change the pictures. And I still haven't you know, finished changing all of them because my eyes started to hurt. So I quit about three quarters of the way through. I quit. And then Joe came home and he's like, let's sew this bag. Well, this bag's really pretty. This is one of them that's called the Caribbean bag. It's a messenger bag like this one, but I'm calling it the Caribbean bag because it's from Mommy's fabric, Mommy's tropical fabric. But I cut it to where the word Belize is not on it, or you better Belize it, or um, 
at the heart of nature or whatever none of that stuff is on it it's just the tropical pattern so it's really pretty but Joe's having a very difficult time putting on the flap and the, the band and the straps and everything else so I'm gonna inspect it now because he thinks he's done and if it didn't come out right we're gonna rip it again but go to the gym first I this oh there has to be an easier way for novices to do this huh Joe Joe's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He sold it, but I don't like it. Rip your ass out on this one. He says, rip your ass out on this one. Let me see if I can live with it. Because because the bags are reversible, when you flip it over, if you see where he's stopping and sewing and stopping and sewing, I don't approve of that. I can tolerate a little bit of crooked sewing, but I don't like that stop and sew thing. Yeah, this didn't work. So see, guys, we got a rip again. Joe and I have been working on this bag for the better half of the evening. It's very simple to put together until you get to this part. We're adding the flap on and the band and everything. So he's trying it on mommy's machine because that machine is really lightweight and gives a lot of trouble to get through all these parts. Jada, the circus is in town. I know, but it's like 40 bucks. Who said? I saw it. It says adults 35. I remember I said it was going to be like 40 bucks. Yeah. So I was like, who said? So tomorrow, I've got a few errands to run and I have to go see Osley uh, because Joshua goes to school Wednesday and Thursday this week because he didn't have any classes today because of MLK Day. Oh, by the way, happy King Day, guys. So, um... Yeah, so tomorrow I want to go see us. They run a couple of errands and come in and make a couple more of those organizers. I'm not going to make any more of these messenger bags for right now. This one's just Caribbean. Let me get in and show you guys again. This, this one's not Belize per se, but it's the pretty fabric that I got from, you know, what mom had stashed at the house. So it's the tropical pattern with that tropical part up there. There's two different colors that we're doing. And I have to go rip out my basting stitch right now, and I have to sew on the buttons. Yeah, so this is a tr this is gonna be called a Caribbean bag because it doesn't have the word Belize any part of it, inside or outside. When it comes to these messenger bags, come say hi, Josh. When it comes to these messenger bags, um, he was trying to be quiet with the plate. We're gonna have the the tropical or the Belize stuff inside and outside, but the other kind, the pleated bags, no, we have a a, a regular pattern. And you know, look back to Josh. Yeah. yeah. That he sewed it on the big machine. Yeah, the one I ripped apart. Yeah, after all the hell we went through today. Looks cool. I just hate that my bird's head got cut off. That didn't get cut too correct. Uh, what can you do? It's okay. So, this is a Caribbean bag, you guys. Yeah, so that's been the day. This is a two day vlog because I didn't have time to edit the other one yesterday. I'm working on the website constantly. Keep checking to see more and more products as I put it up. And thank you so much for just all your love and support. Thumbs up the video if you like what I've presented. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you can know when I upload another video. And I will look forward to your comments in the morning. Au revoir! Yeah, daddy, you know, you kimono.